Imagine you walked into the local pharmacy to buy a box of wipes. You see a few options, but the only ones on sale are two brands. One is called Wipe Off and the other is Wipe It. The first thing you will do is compare the price and the number of wipes contained in each pack as both are exactly identical in price and quantity. Now a debate rises in your head about which one should I pick. Then, all of a sudden, you saw something. On the wipe off box, it's printed, kills 95% of germs guaranteed. While the wipe it says that only 5% of germs survive after using this. Which one will you pick? If you are like most of us, then your obvious choice will be wipe off. Why? Even though everything is same in both, why did you pick to wipe off? This is known as the framing effect. The framing effect is one of the most significant bias that influences your decision making heavily. Over the years, this cognitive bias has probably affected many of the decisions you have made without you even realizing it. Human decisions are normally based on how the information is presented. The same information can be more or less interesting depending on what parts are highlighted. Let's go back to the earlier scenario. Although both boxes had the same message, but the significant difference was the way it was presented. One box of wipes claimed that it kills 95% while another claimed that only 5% survive. As normal human being, we don't like the idea of germs on our kitchen counter living. So normally most of us will pick the one that kills 95%. In the same way, you would choose a chocolate labeled 90% sugar free over the one labeled with only 10% sugar. Isn't it amazing how a simple piece of information presented in two different ways can influence the way you decide. In 1979, psychologists Amos Deversky and Daniel Kahneman came up with a theory of decision called the prospect theory. According to this theory, a loss is seen as more important and should be avoided more than a gain of the same size. A sure gain is better than a likely one and a likely loss is better than a sure one. Simply put, People care more about losses than gains. So we tend to avoid taking risks when we have a 50-50 chance of getting the same amount or losing the same amount. We tend to avoid making the choice of losing. This is because the fear of losing is stronger than the joy of getting something. In 1980, Tversky and Kahneman conducted a study where they asked people to choose between two ways to treat 600 individuals who had a fatal disease. Treatment A would lead to 400 deaths and treatment B has a 33% chance that no one would die but a 66% chance that everyone would die. When people were told that treatment A would save 200 lives, 72% of them supported it. But when they were told that in treatment B, 66% of life would be lost only 22% of people supported it. This study revealed that how choices are presented affects how we choose. Let's look at one more study. In one case from 2009, students were told that they could sign up early. In this situation, they were given two options. First, if you didn't sign up early, you would have to pay a fine. And second, if you sign up early, you will get a discount. Because of the discount, 65% of students signed up, which was great. But when the same thing was shown as a fine, almost everyone signed up. So the researcher concluded that when the information was presented as a loss, it seemed like more people were willing to do it. People would rather not lose something than win something small. One of the most common example of framing effect in the real world is when policymakers talk about economic policies. For example, when a new proposal is written and it states that it will help create jobs, 
it will get more support. But if the same idea is put in terms of unemployment rates, people are less likely to agree with it. Even the judicial system is filled with examples of the framing effect. When someone is in custody before their trial, they are more likely to take a plea deal rather than wait for the final statement from the trial. To understand this framing effect at a deeper level, you first have to understand how we process any information. Information processing starts with an input from the sense organs, which turns physical stimuli like touch, heat, sound waves into electrochemical signals. The brain processes all these signals simultaneously and then an attention filter decides how important the signal is and which cognitive process it should be made available to. Due to this complex mechanism of evaluating information, our mind often uses shortcuts to make the process go faster. Hence, most of our decisions are based on how we feel. Because of this, you tend to go with information and choices that make you feel something right away instead of taking the time to think about the long-term effects of the same decision. Studies have shown that the framing effect increases as we tend to age. Since aging is associated with a loss of cognitive capacities, the elderly are more interested in information that is easy to understand. As one of the most dominating biases, it's possible for the framing effect to have both positive and negative results in your life. The framing effect can make a simple decision harder for you by making the bad information or fewer option look better. In other words, if you pay too much attention to how something is said, you might not pay enough attention to what is being said, which is usually more important. So you may choose the worst option or the wrong information that is presented well rather than good option or the right information that is presented badly. This is true for both the smaller choices you make as a consumers and as citizens the bigger choices you make in your personal and your professional lives. Similarly, the framing effect can also benefit you in your day-to-day -day life. Knowing that people are drawn to frames that highlight certain benefits can help you present your work in a way that makes it more appealing and effective to others. In other words, you may be able to persuade more people if you frame things better. So, what exactly does it mean to frame or reframe an issue? Think about the metaphor behind the concept. A frame focuses attention on the painting it surrounds. Different frames draw out different aspects of the work. Putting the painting in a red frame brings out the red in the work, while putting the same painting in a blue frame brings out the blue. How someone frames an issue influences how others see it and focus their attention on particular aspects of it. Framing is the essence of targeting a message to a specific audience by Melissa Raffoni. As often, knowledge and awareness are powerful ways to deal with cognitive biases. Professor James N. Druckmann says, some well-known framing effects are much smaller or even go away when people have access to credible advice about how to make decisions. A simple example will be the next time when you go for shopping, read the marketing materials and pay more attention to how the benefits are described. Think about what the advertiser is trying to say. A simple exercise is to take a statement as it is right now and turn it around. The name of the method is reversal. For example, this product removes 90% of stains can be changed to this product leaves 10% of stains. When rethinking your option, it might be helpful to get an outside perspective so that you can be as objective as possible and avoid being too sure of yourself. You can ask yourself, what would someone you know in your personal life or at work do in that situation? Studies show that you are more likely to fall for the framing effect if you think quickly. Think about your options slowly and carefully especially when you have to make a big choice. Another technique is to review your past decisions. Think about whether the way you framed your choices were the best one, if there were better frames you overlooked, and if you would frame similar choices differently in the future.
It's acceptable if you fall victim to the framing effect sometimes. It is one of the major biases in decision making. Realize that our brains make logical mistakes easily and that no one is immune to these cognitive biases. Just learn from your mistakes and the next time you have to make a big decision, try to think about your options more carefully. Framing effect can be very influential and to the degree that you can think of a task as close rather than distant, you are more likely to actually get it done by James Surovicki. Thank you for listening to A Shift in Perspective and I will see you in the next video.